comes at five. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington, and we begin tonight with breaking news at Highway 99 and Palm Avenue. For the second time in a month, someone has jumped off of the Highway 99 overpass in this area, and this time it has proven to be deadly. Around three o'clock, just before three o'clock, witnesses say a man was sitting on the guardrail before jumping off into northbound traffic. Officials shut down the 99 North temporarily, then reopened three lanes. The number four lane or the slow lane was closed the longest while police continued their investigation. Traffic was backed up on the 99 in both directions. Southbound lanes were slowed all the way to Golden State Avenue. Northbound was backed up to White Lane and Highway 58 was backed up to Union Avenue. One witness says she saw the man who jumped just moments before it happened. He was, he was like, how you doing? Because I had my, net, my grandbabies. He was like, how you doing? I said, fine. You. He said, okay, have a nice day, cute babies. And he, he like he didn't have no worries or nothing. I wish I would have held a longer conversation with him, you know? At least to, I could figure out what was, what was going through his head. I could at least call help for him or something. Officials have now reopened all lanes on the northbound side. Traffic is still somewhat backed up, so you may want to consider taking surface streets if you're headed in either direction, or make sure you give yourself some extra time when you're heading out the door. The traffic is moving in this area, but it is slow beyond this point. Again, this is the second time this has happened in the past month, and as 23ABC reported in January, someone jumped off of the 99 overpass on Ming Avenue. That person survived. Well, coming up tonight at 11, and we're going to talk to drivers in the area to see whether or not they feel safe. Again, traffic is flowing in this area right now, but it is backed up. So make sure if you're heading out tonight, you give yourself a little extra time and prepare for this traffic that will slow you down just a little bit. We'll continue to keep you updated on the latest conditions on our 23 ABC News mobile and tablet app. Reporting live in Southwest Bakersfield, Jessica Harrington, 23 ABC.